Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. If you're new, uh, I do make these videos for everyone uh, who wants to try to DIY, fix their own things at home. So do leave a like, share and of course subscribe down below for more videos like this. And uh, if, if you want, you can leave a comment if you have any questions for me. In today's episode, what we're going to be looking at is a water heater switch. Uh, this water heater switch is faulty. Uh, it does not engage and disengage properly. Um, you need to tap it and knock it and that means there's some connection that's loose inside. And you do have to make sure that your switch is working properly because unlike other switches uh, in your house, this is a dual pole switch. Meaning it controls both the neutral, the live and it also has a ground connection. And this is all to keep you safe. You know, there's been a lot of uh, talk recently of people getting themselves hurt with faulty water heaters. So it's very important to get to make sure that your water heater switch is uh, working correctly. Now with that, let's get straight into the video. So first off, what you must do as usual is to turn off your circuit breakers. Um, in this uh, unit that I am in, the uh, owner has been very nice and they have labelled every, uh, every circuit breaker. You can do this, usually the, uh, the circuit breaker comes with a line drawing and you should keep that uh, somewhere safe so that if you need, if an electrician comes in, uh, he can refer to the line drawing to see which circuit breakers or how your house is connected. It makes work a lot easier. But if you're doing it yourself, you can turn off the mains, the main switch, okay? Make sure you turn off both the main switch and the RCCB. But in our case, I know that this is the common toilet water heater and I'm just going to turn this one off. Alright, so we're back here. Uh, this is the water heater switch. It says here water heater. Um, and we're just going to have a check and see if the LED turns on. Sometimes the LED is broken, so you should not use this as an indication whether or not the switch is working. In our case, it doesn't light up. Just now, it did light up. So I can be quite... It gives me a, 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 a signal that the circuit breaker has shut off power to the water heater. Now, as I have mentioned in my previous videos, the painters usually paint all the way up into the switch cover. And when you remove it, the cover will come off with a lot of paint. So before you move any switches in your house, just grab a blade and you start cutting around the, the switch perimeter. You just want to break the paint so that it comes off cleanly and you don't, don't have a, a whole chunk of paint coming up. So just do something like that. Sometimes there is a line of silicone that goes around the switch. So you want to take your time and make sure you've separated the switch from the wall. You come in with a test pen or a screwdriver and you just pop it off like that. And then the screws are behind this cover. Use your, pen, your test pen again, go in from the side and pop that off. You want to test and see if there's any current flowing through the metal parts that isn't. Come ahead and take that out. Let's see what's going on inside. So as you can see, this is not like a, a normal light switch. A normal light switch would just have the brown wires, a live going in and a load coming out. You have a whole bunch of wires. You have the brown, which is the live, the blue, which is the neutral, and of course you have the green, which is your ground. So you take all this apart. Grab your test pen, okay, and test every connection to see whether the LED in the handle lights up. That's good. Over here, I have a contactless voltage detector. I know not all of you have one of these, but if you can, they only cost like about 15 bucks a piece. Go and grab one. Makes life a lot easier. How it works, you just turn it on and you hold it near the wires. If there's any live current, it will turn on like this. So this switch is live, but over here, 
you know, there's no live current inside this thing. So, before you take the wires apart, it'll be really helpful to mark out which is the incoming and which is the outgoing. Over here at the back, you will see in and out. I, for me, I'm going to put one line on the in, and I'm just going to leave the out unmarked, so I know which is which. Then, I'm just going to disconnect all the wires, Okay, so now that you've got the, uh, the old panel removed, you want to keep all your wires separated. And that's because uh, each one of these, uh, if any of these wires, okay, now that you've got the old panel removed, you want to keep each of these wires separated. And that's because, uh, you know, if you know, either your, your neutral, your life touches the ground, your half will trip. So, open them up like a flower like that really easy to identify which are the individual wires so remember the ones with the um, with the line are the incoming so we have here the new switch and what you want to do is before you start any work is to loosen up all these screws makes uh, makes life a lot easier okay so I've opened them all up as you can see from uh, inside the screws all have been retracted and look at the back plate of the, um, of the switch. It says load here, it says supply, here says L which is live, and right is neutral. So uh, load, supply means incoming power supply. Load is the load you put on your circuit. So that may be a light and in our case, that's the water heater. So this, the water heater is connected here and your live supply or the one to the circuit breakers are connected up here. So these two black wires go to the bottom and then I'm, I find it easier to work bottom up. So I'll be connecting the load first. So the ones with the lines are the, are the ones that go to the circuit breaker and the ones without the lines, these two, these are the ones that go to the water heater. So I'm going to be connecting the neutral first, so N goes in here together with the black wire there you go that's tight next one this is the live to the uh, water heater so you put that in followed by the black wire Then I'll come around with this one goes to the circuit breaker. So you see our marking there that we made. And finally, live to the breaker. I mean, that, that, there is no um, order that you should put them in. I, I just I'm just putting them in sequence of which I find easiest to. Uh, to access so if let's say I put all this in it's a bit hard for me to go from go to the bottom so you know I, I work with the most difficult ones first okay and now ground wires go into the ground terminals on top there you go okay let's stuff it all back in Okay, now you grab your screws and with it sticking out the wall like that you just want to use the gap and align your screws with the back bracket and you want to put in loosely there you go okay and, and as you tighten it you guide the switch plate back If you find it's misaligned, just loosen them up. Move the switch plate into position and tighten them again. Touch. There you go. Then, this goes, see the red, see the red dot? This goes over the LED. Like that. And then the cover goes on.
there you go. So um, when the painters come again, make sure that they remove the cover, paint it and then put the cover back. And this way you will avoid a lot of damage to the sides. I will come back with some uh, caulking to just cover this up. So my friends, that's how you uh, change up a water heater switch. Uh, please make sure that you're safe. Test all the connections with the test pen before you, you touch them with your hands. And of course, do like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any ideas of what you want to learn, uh, any videos you want me to make or any questions you have for me, do leave them in the comment section below. And of course, once again, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.